today's class we will learn about problems on solution of linear differential equation using Laplace transform. The problem is solve y triple dash plus 2y double dash minus y dash minus 2y equal to 0 given that y of 0 which is also equal to y dash of 0 equal to 0 and y double dash of 0 is equal to 6 by using Laplace transform method. The solution of this problem will see now. Hello students. So the next example for Laplace transform using differential equation we will see. The problem is solve y triple dash plus 2 times y double dash minus y dash minus 2y is equal to 0. Given y of 0 is equal to or y double dash y dash of 0 is what here 0 means y of 0 is equal to also 0 and y dash of 0 is also 0 and y double dash of 0 is 6 by using Laplace transform method. So solution. So given differential equation is y triple dash of t it is understood it is t plus 2 times y double dash of t minus y dash of t minus 2 of y of t equal to 0 and the condition they have given condition is what here y of 0 is equal to 0 y dash of 0 is equal to 0 and y double dash of 0 is equal to 6. These are the conditions that is initial value conditions. So with the help of that we need to simplify this. Now so for this above expression it is already in a standard form. So we need to take a Laplace transform on both side means L on both side we have to take. So that is nothing but so take Laplace transform on both sides. So if you take Laplace transform on both sides, it will become L of y triple dash of t plus 2 is a constant L of y double dash of t minus L of y dash of t minus 2 times l of y of t is equal to l laplace of 0 it is 0 so now we need to simplify so what all things we have so we need to write the expression of l of y triple dash of t then we need to write the expression of l of y double dash of t and uh, then we need to apply what here uh, expression for what here l of y dash of t so once again we will glance it that what is that expressions. So L of y triple dash of t is nothing but what here s cube into L of y of t minus s square y of 0 minus s into y dash of 0 minus y double dash of 0. This is the expression for L of y triple dash of t. L of y double dash of t is s square into L into y of t minus s into y of 0 minus y dash of 0 then la, uh, expression for l of y dash of t is what here s into l of y of t minus y of 0 so all three expressions we need to apply in our given problem so we'll apply one by one and we'll simplify using the condition initial condition we'll see this again further steps now expression of l of y triple dash of t is nothing but it is s cube L of y of t minus s square y of 0 minus s into y dash of 0 minus y double dash of 0. So this is the expression for what here? Expression for L of y triple dash of t plus 2 times 
L of y double dash of t is nothing but s square L of y of t minus s into y of 0 minus y dash of 0. This is second expression minus sign. I will write it down here minus L of y dash of t is nothing but what here minus put a bracket s into L of y of t minus y of 0 and the last term minus 2 times L of y of t equal to 0 finally. So these are the expressions we have applied. So we as we know that conditions but by condition. So what are the conditions here? y of 0 is equal to 0 is a condition. y dash of 0 is also 0 and y triple dash of 0 is what is 6. So we will apply these conditions directly in the above expression. So here first term s q into l of y of t as it is. So y of 0 is 0 means s square will be 0. Leave it. Next y dash of 0 is also 0 means s square also 0 and uh, s is also 0. So first second, second term and third term 0 only y triple dash of uh, 0 is 6. So I will write directly minus 6 come to the second term two that means in this expression second one so two times s square into l of y of t as it is so y of 0 is 0 means this is also become 0 y dash is also 0 means this will be only will get this much next minus Next third bracket s into I will open the bracket here s into l of y of t so y of 0 is 0 so that also becomes 0 minus here also all right minus 2 times l of y of t is equal to 0 so I will rearrange once again it, we, it is nothing but s cube L of y of t minus 6 plus 2 times s square L of y of t minus s into L of y of t minus 2 times L of y of t is equal to 0. So we got this expression. So from this expression we will see. So first term third term, fourth and fifth term having L of y of t. So we will take common. If you take L of y of t common, we are going to left inside the bracket is s cube plus 2s square minus s minus 2 and L of y of t is what here? Common and remaining is what here? Minus 6 equal to 0. So we are left with this now shift this minus 6 to the right hand side so we'll get s cube plus 2 s square minus s minus 2 of l of y of t is equal to plus 6 and we want only y of t means this bracket also will shift to the right hand side so we will get so therefore L of Y of T is equal to 6 divided by S cube plus 2 S square minus S minus 2 or we need only what here Y of T which is nothing but Y of T is equal to shift this 6 to the right hand side 6 is a constant 
or else uh, L inverse of 6 divided by S cube plus 2 S square minus S minus 2. So remember, so this uh, we got one of the standard form. So either you can use convolution formula or partial fraction or perfect complete squaring method. So complete squaring is not possible. So we will factorize this uh, and we will see whether it is possible by using uh, partial fraction we can simplify this inverse Laplace transform. So we will see that one. Now we will take uh, L inverse of, uh, we will take only 6 upon S cube plus 2 S square minus S plus uh, minus 2 and we will see. So here <coughs> now I will give equation number 1 for this. Now 6 divided by S cube plus 2 S square minus S minus 2 which is nothing but so we will see here here this S cube plus 2 S square minus S minus 2 can be written as So this is nothing but you make a pair of these two. So among these you take S square common. So what we are going to left here S plus 2 and uh, for, from these two pair I uh, will take minus sign common we will get S plus 2. So therefore on factorization S plus 2 is a common bracket for both the terms. So what we are going to left here S square minus 1. Fine. So this is the factorization we got it. So this can be written as so S is, so again one more step I will increase or I can uh, say that it is S plus 2. So it is S square minus 1. one S square minus 1 square that is A square minus B square formula which can be written as what here S plus 1 S minus 1. So we got the expansion. This is expansion of what here? Uh, s cube plus 2 s square minus s minus 2 expansion of this so therefore 6 divided by s cube plus 2 s square minus s minus 2 is nothing but what here 6 divided by s plus 2 then s minus 1 and s plus 1 so this expansion so we'll use the partial fraction and we'll simplify now which is nothing but 6 divided by s cube plus 2 s square minus s minus 2 is nothing but a divided by s plus 2 plus b divided by s minus 1 plus c divided by s plus 1. So we will simplify. So if you take the LCM we will get back this. So which is nothing but 6 times a into. So a you, it will be cross multiplied what here s minus 1 s plus 1. So if you, with b it is s plus 2 and s plus 1 and with c it is s plus 2 and s minus 1. So we need to get the values of the constants a, b, c then that values will apply here and uh, then we will uh, think what is the solution here. So now, so at opposite s is it, s minus 1 is there. So uh, we want to make 0 means uh, we will take s at s is equal to 1. So if at s is equal to 1 what happens we will see. So which implies 6 is equal to if I put uh, uh, s is equal to 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 0 into this entire value is 0 so again c also will become 0 so only we will get b value so b into 1 plus 2 and 1 plus 1 so which is nothing but 6 is equal to 2 plus 1 is 3 uh, uh, 1 plus 1 is 2 so 3 2 is a 6 so we will get 6b so which is nothing but b is equal to 1 so once we get uh, the value of b now we will think of the next value again here we have s plus 1 so to make 0 so we will take what here at s is equal to minus 1 we will take.
so therefore so left hand side no effect so which implies 6 is equal to if I put s is equal to minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 0 0 into this entire will vanish so b also will become because minus 1 plus 1 is 0 this b also will vanish c we are going to get at c into uh, s value is minus 1 plus 2 and again minus 1 minus 1 so 6 is equal to minus 1 plus 2 is again plus 1 1 and here minus 2 will get so we will get what here minus 2 into c so which is nothing but the value of c will get it as so 2 3 is a 6 so therefore c is equal to minus 3 so we got b value c value now uh, we don't have uh, it will check uh, if i put okay we have option so if you put s is equal to uh, minus uh, 2 b will vanish c will vanish we'll see so if we put at uh, s is equal to minus 2 what happens so which is equal to 6 is equal to so here uh, we'll get the value of a a into minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 plus 1 if i put s is equal to minus 2 minus 2 plus 2 uh, 0 this b will vanish uh, minus 2 plus 2 so c will vanish so we'll get the value of a which is nothing but 6 is equal to minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 and uh, minus 2 mi plus 1 is nothing but minus so minus minus plus uh, plus 3a or i can say that a is equal to 2 so we got a value b value c value so this a b c value will apply here so what will happen we'll see 6 times 6 upon s cube plus 2 s square minus s minus 2 is equal to a divided by a value is 2 so 2 divided by s plus 2 b value is 1 so therefore 1 divided by s minus 1 c value is minus 3 so minus 3 upon s plus 1 so therefore take inverse laplace on both sides so inverse laplace of 6 divided by s cube plus 2 s square minus s minus 2 is equal to 2 is a constant inverse laplace of 1 upon s plus 2 plus inverse laplace of 1 upon s minus 1 minus 3 times inverse laplace of 1 upon s plus 1 so which is nothing but 2 times inverse laplace of 1 upon s plus a form that is nothing but e raised to minus a t that is e raised to minus 2 t plus inverse laplace of 1 upon s minus 1 is nothing but what here e raised to t then minus last term inverse laplace of this 3 as it is inverse laplace of 1 upon s plus 1 is nothing but e raised to minus t so this is the resultant of what here uh, laplace inverse of 6 upon s cube plus 2 s square minus s minus 2 so therefore this is nothing but our right hand side of equation number one we'll see that one now so right hand side of equation number one is what here so you can see uh, equation number one so we'll apply here so therefore therefore equation one becomes equation one becomes y of t is equal to 2 times e raised to minus 2t minus uh, plus e raised to t minus 3 times e raised to minus t so this is the required solution of given differential equation using laplace transform method